Welcome back. I'm out doing a little riding today, so I figured I'd take the opportunity to do a little bike check video on my 2012 KTM 990 Adventure R, show you some of the mods that's been done to it, and what I think about it so far. Let's get into it. Right, like I said, what this is, it's the bike check video. I'm gonna make my way around the bike, starting at the front, just tell you all the modifications that's been done to it, and yes, they are modifications. I don't use the word Farkle. I never will. No grown man should say Farkle. It's modifications, whatever you want to call it besides Farkles. And excuse the wind noise. Uh, we can't catch a break in upstate South Carolina of, with wind like this. It's been blowing like crazy, but let's get into it. Uh, it's got a high fender kit by Rottweiler. Now, I think they use a super motard fender. As you can see, it's got vents cut back there. So it don't do anything affecting with the cooling or anything like that wind passes to it no problem i think these are off a and it comes with the kit i'm assuming but these are off a uh, ktm 85 and you'll see the motile sticker on there unfortunately this is not a motile tire it's a v rubber or something like that it's an okay front tire hadn't got to push it a whole lot but it's been doing okay stock front brakes not great stock front brakes which i when i was researching this bike i knew that they're not real good but i'm getting used to them it's got a hid headlight on the low beam high beam i'm not sure but they're pretty bright the auxiliary lights work well i don't know the brand of those either but they should throw out plenty of light if you want to do any kind of night riding which me and timmy eventually want to do that it's got sacra pro bend pro bend hand guards which i absolutely love they're about 160 bucks but they're they're nice they're well built fit the bike really well got my nice cnc mirrors they're just barium mirrors but they come with this mount so they flip in and out you can tuck them in if they hit the ground they'll fold in i like them a lot better than the big dumbo ear square mirrors or the round ones in this bike's case and they cut down on some wind noise as well so I like that it's got a carpy ride android auto slash apple carplay unit really liking that thing so far and it's mounted or i modified the mount that come with it and it's actually bolted to a tortec uh garmin mount that was on the bike when i got it i'm gonna do a full review on that thing later on so i'll go into more detail about that later it's got renthal ktm bend fat bars on it which i like the bend everything feels real good to me scott's uh steering stabilizer it's also got the scott's top triple clamp that top triple clamp raises the bars up 10 millimeters and it's got an additional uh riser in there which raises them up about another 10 to 15 millimeters so but i like the way the bike feels it fits me well not going to change anything there can't tell you much about the scott steering stabilizer yet because hadn't got to ride the bike hard enough to even test it but that's about almost a thousand dollars for that whole setup so hopefully it works I've got some army surplus bags on here for crash bar bags to keep some extra bags and stuff like dry bags and snacks whatever in there it's got an adjustable kickstand that i think somebody made i had to lift it way up from where it was i guess somebody had short legs so it's having problems getting on the bike it's got an aftermarket uh clutch slave cylinder i think there's i don't know how to say that it starts with oh i can't remember but that's that one's highly recommended it's supposed to not leak or anything like this like that and it's a mineral clutch so takes baby oil pretty pretty simple now the gearing on this bike is 45 in the rear 17 in the front stock it would have been 1642 i believe so this bike's got a ton of bottom end power right now actually a little bit too much it's like 113 horsepower but with the tune and the exhaust on it it's pushing a little more than that that's at the crank so the rear wheel is probably about 92 horsepower with that gearing set up it's pretty snappy it's got aftermarket foot pegs not sure the brand on those it's got my tusk pilot panniers on it this was from my vstrom these are the ones i had on my bike when i crashed and they took very little damage i'll show you on the other side the little spot that it took and that was it love these bags it's got ktm power parts uh pannier racks i'm not sure about this uh top plate if y'all know anybody knows that drop a comment down below because i really like the look of this thing and it seems like it's going to function really well it's got 
the dual acropovic i guess that's how you say that somebody will probably correct me in the comments but i just call them acros they sound great the carbon tips with carbon mounts pretty slick um something i did up here these are the motion pro uh bead breaker slash tire irons i just drilled a couple holes in them and mounted them right out of there so just tucked them out of the way and i'll have to worry about making anything extra on the bike to put them in i hope i never use them but this is a tubeless uh a tube tube tire bike so who knows if i will or not uh another v rubber this back tire absolutely sucks it's really slick so if you hit the power a little bit too hard on the road it does break loose really easy so i do not like that especially right now when i'm still recovering and there's where that tusk bag took a little bitty nick i had to glue that back together no big deal still working fine aftermarket peg on that side now these are the stock headers but they do have problems with the stock headers on these bikes rusting from my understanding well these have been hot jet coated because i have paperwork with the bike to show you everything that was done to it so they got a jet coating on them and you see it's a 2012 they still look pretty good uh the rear rotor is a floating rotor not sure of the brand um but that's not stock it would come with a solid mount rotor on the back floating rotor don't know if that makes a big difference or not if anybody knows too what kind of skid plate this is please drop a comment on that because this thing is an absolute tank i'm sure you could ram stuff pretty hard with that without any damage so that should be good uh the battery is actually mounted under this skid in here behind the skid plate and that's the kimimoto lithium battery which has been working pretty good so far went through some water too hadn't affected it whatsoever another army surplus crash bar bag now this bike comes with one fan which will be on the other side from the factory this is the aftermarket uh secondary fan because these bikes run a little hot when they're slow moving so that definitely helps in that situation cycle pro bin up there as well let's see what else i can think of i think that's pretty much it oh one thing on this side let me slide over here i don't know if you can see it or not it's something that's a pretty big deal on these bikes that is a uh was it a black dog uh side stand relocation kit because this side stand is usually mounted right to the engine case which could be bad if it gets hit with a rock bust hole in the case this actually just mounts it to a bunch of different places to strengthen that up so. well that's pretty much it i don't think i missed anything but so far i'm really liking this bike it's got plenty of power the suspension's great does pretty well going 60 70 miles an hour on the road has a little bit more wind noise not really buffeting but a lot more wind noise than i'm used to but not that big of a deal like i said the front brakes are a little spongy but i'll get used to that as well i hadn't got to push this bike a lot off road because i'm only a little over four months of my spine fusing and it's going to be probably a uh, fall winter before i really can do anything harder off road so gotta let it heal good but looking forward to actually putting this bike to the test because it's really good and one thing i didn't mention this is a full frame bike so that means the cradle underneath the engine is all part of the frame and we're most bikes now don't even have that or they got bolt on so this bike is really well made really strong probably one of the best adventure bikes ever made to be honest with you and i just hope it treats me well and that's pretty much it for this video so if y'all have any questions drop them down below if not if you hadn't already hammer this shit out of that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new content comes out we'll see y'all in the next one oh she's a beast